All right, so now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and head uh, back out here past these annoying dragonflies. Again, not dangerous, just annoying. All right, now there's a, there's one thing that we could do while we're out here, but um, honestly, I don't know if we can right now. We're gonna ha I'm probably just gonna come back for it later because I can't honestly don't remember if we can right now. And it's spoilers for a later part of the game. I think maybe I'm wrong. I think I might be wrong. Let me see. Um, yeah, I think I'm probably wrong. I'm just going to. Yeah, actually, I do remember what I'm supposed to do. Derp. I'm just going to head back this way. So you can see that little tube thing back behind Bubble Gloof Swamp's entrance. Well, we're going to want to, uh, die. We're going to want to, no, we're not going to want to die. We're going to want to go back this way. Silly. I'm going to grab some extra health while we're here. Again, the, the health does stay, so I can just grab the two and leave the one for later. And use Wonderwing to uh, get across this area. You're supposed to do this with the waiters, but um, honestly, I don't uh, have that kind of time. So, this is the puzzle for World 5. Freeze Easy Peak! I'm sure most of you guys knew what it was before I even did anything, because this is, this is by far the fan favorite level of this game. There it is, Freeze Easy Peak. All right, and then there's one other thing. Oh wow, look at those murals. I didn't even realize what those were. Oh boy. Yeah, you guys are gonna figure out what those are in a minute. So we're gonna wanna come up here before we leave and do this before we do anything else. This is gonna be important for a little side quest that we're gonna be doing later, so. There's an extra Wonderwing feather in there. Like they kind of guessed that we might've used Wonderwing to get in here. It's a secret to everyone. But, uh, yeah. To get back out, all we gotta do is come back up here, grab the waiters, and head out. And we can head on to World 6 already. Or World... No. World 5. Not World 6. World 6 is something else. Oh, I'm so bad at math. Even basic math. I am so bad. Well, that's what happens when you've been out of school for a while. Or out of uh, math classes, I should say, for a while. So let's go ahead and head back to uh, the main hub area. We can grab that other Jiggy that we caused to appear while we were inside Bubble Gloop Swamp, and then we can go to Freeze Easy Peak. Sounds good? Sounds good. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're going to come up here, and you can see we can get inside there now, but we can't, uh, we can't actually get in there from this room. We've got to go around... Uh, this way, back up to where the hub of the desert level was. Remember, we were there before. Um, well, we can't, we still can't get into the desert level. That's world six. We're going to have to, I, I was, I was remembering that the level's out of order. Um, this is, the desert area is world six. Um, Freeze Easy Peak is world five, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong again, but uh, I think it's World 5. Anyway, we just jump in the pot there. That'll take us down here and grab the Jiggy. No biggie. Okay, we can jump across this water, jump out of here, ignore the minion, and head back up to where we were so we can get over to where the entrance to Freeze Easy Peak is. But yeah, Freeze Easy Peak, I believe, is World 5, and then... The desert level, I want to say, is World 6, and then the other level that I said was through that uh, thing of, pic basically a picture of Grunty's head, is World 7. And then uh, there's another level that we haven't even seen yet, and then the last level is the level that I told you guys about before, that's, um, we already have the access to the puzzle to, but we can't actually put the pieces in yet. So there's nine levels in this world, in this game total, and we've already played through four of them. So we're almost halfway done with the game. Now this is annoying. This is something that they start doing around the honeycomb hives later on in the game, just to give you that little extra, you know, screw you for playing our game feeling. You aren't getting free health anymore because these guys have got themselves protected by honeycomb 
like bees. See, touch my honey this time and you'll be sorry. Because the bees, the bees, the bees will be chasing you all over. There is a way to kill the bees, to get rid of them, to make them go away. All you have to do is use Wonder Wing and they will dive bomb you and die. So let's go ahead and open this note door while we're here. Why not? Why not? And explore a little more of the lair, even though we can't actually do anything in this area. We could go to Freeze Easy Peak right now, but, uh, whoa, I wanted to show you guys this room first. That right there is the map to the desert level, and then up there is the entrance to the, to the, what did I say it was? The seventh level? Yeah, the seventh level. So, yeah, we're getting pretty far along in this game already. I'd say we're, we're not quite halfway. We'll be halfway done after we finish Freeze Easy Peak. Get away. Alright, so let's go ahead and head this way. And out. To Freeze Easy Peak. Again, this is probably the fan favorite level in this game. And there is a shock jump pad that we could climb, but that's actually for later. We're not we don't need to do that now. Welcome to Freeze Easy Peak! So there's another new move for us, and there's also an igloo here that we're definitely going to want to go inside. So, here we go. Inside. Aww. Little polar bears. Said their dad went to go get them presents for Christmas, or for, I guess it's Christmas, or maybe just presents in general. And he disappeared. So we're going to have to go find them to make these kids happy again. There's also a mumbo token in here that you want to make sure and come in and grab. You're thinking, well, where's their dad at? It, you know, he could be anywhere. These levels are pretty big. He's right there. Um, and he... Their dad is a fairly stupid character, and stupid by in the literal sense. He literally ate the Jiggy that he's going to be giving us later. Ate it. Yep. You moron. Oh well. We'll be helping him out later. Because uh, we can't do anything to make him cough up the Jiggy yet. We're going to have to come back and help him out uh, later on. All right, so this is these are those guys that I saw etched in the murals. They're these annoying snowmen who they cackle, they rub their hands together, then they throw snowballs at you. They're fairly good shots too, so they're going to be fairly annoying throughout this level. Another thing that's also annoying throughout this level, every single platform here has ice physics, which means you're going to be sliding around a lot, even more than you usually do. Right here around uh, these pillars, I guess you call them, are... Uh, Lots more notes, some more Momo tokens, and we can grab those. There's snowmen. I want to say there are five or six of them scattered around this main area of the level, and they're going to be throwing snowballs at you fairly frequently. Uh, and here's the first present. So, yeah, we can find the three presents for the kids while we're wandering around in the hub area. This is another little thing that they do to try to screw you if you're looking for extra health, is that they actually put in-level enemies right over them. But uh, thankfully, those enemies just end up dropping you more health, so, you you know, whatever. I can grab the three to refill what I just lost and then uh, leave the rest of them there. Alright, so this is an interesting little uh, thing, is that you can climb up this gigantic scarf, grab some red feathers on the red uh, pattern, and the... Notes on the yellow parts, so yeah, you're definitely going to want to come up here and do this, because this is actually kind of important to follow this path, not just for the items, but also to get up to the top of the scarf and whatever lies at the end. I'm trying to disguise it, but it's not. I'm not doing a very good job. This scarf is, this. the pillars and everything else are actually parts of a gigantic snowman that is a centerpiece to Freeze Easy Peak. This is possibly the best designed level in this game, just from an aesthetic standpoint. Just the con the great contrast of colors with against the white background. Everything just looks so nice and sparkly and Christmassy, and everything looks so good. The sound is great. The music is great. Um, we can jump out here onto the snowman's broom, grab ourselves the blue jinjo. Um, let me see. There's some other stuff we can do while we're up here. We're going to want to make sure to do actually um, before we 
Now, what what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to jump on that uh, sled and use that to slide down towards the bottom of the uh, snowman and the mountain and everything else. But uh, we're going to want to do some other stuff here first. So we're going to jump back up here. If I could stop falling off things. Uh, we're going to jump out here to the pipe and grab our first Jiggy. That wasn't so hard. Honestly, this level isn't that hard. There isn't a single Jiggy that's as bad as the Mr. File Jiggy is in uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp. So, yeah, yeah. Could be worse. So there's our second present as well, and then these gigantic eyes. I don't even know what these eyes are. I guess this snowman must be sentient, actually? Question mark? Anyway, let's uh, take off and fly up here to the very top of Freeze Easy Peak. There's another gigantic ice cube up here that splits into smaller ice cubes, just as the one that was around that uh, health thing did earlier. Ouch. I'm gonna clear these out. This isn't, we don't, there's no Jiggy or anything up here yet, but uh, we're definitely gonna wanna clear the enemies out for later on because, you know. And you also wanna be very careful because if you fall off while you're up here, unless you hit something on the way down, like another platform, you're gonna die because if you fall all the way down to the bottom, you're pretty much dead. There's, again, the fall damage in this game is cumulative, so the farther you fall, the more damage you take. And if you fall from all the way up here, you're going to die. There's no way, there's no, uh, there's no two ways about it. There we go. Let's go down to the brim of his hat and grab some eggs. Let's make our way around a little bit faster. You could fall through the hole in his hat there. I just want to make sure that there's not anything else up here to make sure to grab. I don't think there is. No. Okay. So let's go ahead and fall down the hole in his hat to make sure to get down to the other level without dying anyway. There we go, we end up on his nose again, and uh, we can jump down from here to here, and then jump on the sled. Grab a token while we're there, and land it right on Boggy and cause him to vomit up the Jiggy. And that's apparently his sled, so instead of going to see about his kids who are undoubtedly worried about him, he's going to go practice sledding. Worst dad ever but yes boggy is definitely i don't know i wouldn't call him a favorite character but i guess somebody in the ve development team w must have liked him because they brought him back for banjo tooie in a much more expanded role now we could race him but we're actually well, there's no way we could beat him because we're not big enough to use his sled so we're gonna have to uh come back and beat him later on after getting another item from a different uh level which is actually a lie, because you have to race him twice. Just like the rabbit in Donkey Kong 64, you actually have to race him twice. Once for, uh, you know, one for the money, two for the show, basically. It's uh, annoying, but it happens. All right, and you may notice that there's an abundance of flying pads in this level, which is kind of interesting. There's also a green Jinjo back here. I guess this must be his house. He was here to avoid the barrage of snowballs. Oof, icy water. Is the water too cold for you? Stay out then! Yeah, so yeah, the water here is kind of like the water in Bubble Gloop Swamp, where if you walk into it, into it, you're going to uh, walk into it. I don't know if that was a pun or if it was just me misspeaking. Honestly, at this point, it could go either way. But basically, yeah, you don't want to go into the water without a pair of waders, because you're going to end up losing lots of life. Missed me. All right, so we're, we've basically gone around in a big circle at this point. Uh, let's head back to the middle and then out this way. There, there's a lot of collectibles that we just haven't gotten yet because we haven't been able to get at them yet because these spoilers, these snowmen have actually each got an important item underneath them. Some of them have uh, notes, some of them have mumble tokens, and a couple of them have stuff that's even more valuable than that. So we're going to definitely want to find bottles as soon as we can and he's actually right over here. So let's do that. Do -do. What you got for us, bottles? Aerial action. Beak bomb. So this is our one mid-air attack that we can use in this game. You can use more in Banjo-Tooie, but in this game, while you're uh, actually in the air, you can only attack with one through one way. 
The Beak Bomb. It's also an incredibly awkward and hard to use attack, but it's also a lot of fun. So, whoops, we don't want to fly quite yet. There's a couple more items we want to grab here. Oof, that was bad. Oh, there's a mumble token here too, sweet. And there's a mini game over there we're definitely going to want to play before we do anything else. Whoops, or maybe we want to take these, these annoying guys out before we do anything else. This is starting to get on my nerves. Oh, and there's also no bees here around the honey... Uh, honey hives because well it's cold out the bees would die so there's that that's done um, all right so let's go ahead and take care of these snowmen they're starting to tick me off 